the Arcturian Group. June 12, 2016, by Marilyn Raphael. Welcome dear ones. As the new world emerges you are beginning to see the beliefs and concepts of past generations fade away, regardless of attempts to hold them in place by those who find their security in them. Looking back even a few years and comparing the thoughts of then versus now and you can see how far you have come. Animal rights as they are today, were unheard of even as recently as 20 years ago. Women and men both individually and as groups, are coming to realize that feminine energy is not less than the masculine, but that both are equal parts comprising the whole. Those raised in or taught beliefs that they were born less than, sinful, or somehow damaged and in need of fixing, are awakening to their true nature and reclaiming the power they ignorantly allowed to be taken from them through these beliefs. Many of you are discovering that some troubling issue that heretofore caused pain, anger, or frustration no longer affects you as it once did. When you no longer carry the energy of something, it simply dissolves into the nothingness, that it always was because there is no energy to hold it in place. Only the qualities of divine consciousness are held in place by law. The attained consciousness of this truth serves to eliminate the desire to resist evil, fight error, and struggle against that which you may believe separates you from what you need. You begin to understand that everything you seek is already full and complete within you and held there by divine law. Evolution is about moving beyond accumulated false beliefs in order to experience who and what you really are. Every tiny bit of spiritual consciousness attained flows automatically as you go about normal everyday living because truth realized, not just intellectually known, becomes who you are. You are consciousness, not just physical bodies. As you live from your highest attained state of awareness, new truths unfold as you are ready to integrate them, often when you least expect. Truth is infinite, there is no end. As individuals awaken, they become aware of their undesirable habits and qualities and begin to take action physical, emotional, mental, and even spiritual, to remove the unholy qualities they have discovered. Picture the flagellation of monks and saints or those who glamorize the crucifixion in the false belief that suffering or ridding oneself of the physical, is holiness. In reality, these sorts of actions are unnecessary and represent unillumined concepts of the spiritual journey, the journey from sense to soul. The physical body is a sacred container of your consciousness formed by you and necessary for living in third-dimensional energy. Resistance to a person, place, or thing bestows it with power it does not innately have. This means honoring instead of resisting, negative personal habits and qualities. Recognize them simply as facets of who you are at this time and realize that there is no law holding them in place. Personal qualities of any kind can be powerful tools serving to shine light into one's belief system, and exposing the very concepts and beliefs now manifesting as those negative characteristics you wish to be rid of. Resistance is as old as mankind. The soul is always seeking to be acknowledged for who, what it is and for the unevolved, this will manifest in third dimensional form. The yearning of a soul to be consciously recognized will never cease because it is the reality of who you are. Freedom and wholeness are facets of the divine, held in place eternally by divine law but cannot manifest higher than an individual's attained state of consciousness. Even the murderer believes he is bringing wholeness to some situation. Resistance often begins when a spiritual beginner suddenly awakens to a truth but is only able to understand it through his third-dimensional state of consciousness. These often become proselytizers, declaring to anyone who will listen as well as those who do not, that they know truth and everyone must believe as they do or be lost. In their enthusiasm to spread what they believe is the fullness of the only truth, they urge their followers to resist anything that does not fit this limited belief system. Frequently, these dear ones are themselves struggling with the very issues they condemn and seek to eliminate in others. This is easily observed in the actions of many organized religions. Resistance is based in the belief that everyone including self is separate from the divine, their good but that this can be corrected by various physical, emotional, mental, or spiritual methods. Resistance is often believed to be the best tool for eliminating issues determined to be incorrect, sinful, or unacceptable by those who believe themselves to be authorities regarding right and wrong. The Old Testament is a book of rules and regulations, and was necessary for the time when an unevolved society needed rules. 
Two thousand years ago an enlightened teacher proclaimed that he came to bring a New Testament. This New Testament was meant to supersede the Old, guiding mankind into a consciousness based in love and oneness. However, to this day, many still hold fast to the rules of the Old Testament while calling themselves Christians. Not all, but most people and certainly all who read these messages, have evolved beyond the need for rules and regulations in order to live in peace. You are moving into that New Testament state of consciousness, one in which self as well as all living things are honored and respected as being in and of the divine. The time has come and you are ready to move beyond guilt, low self-esteem, and all the facets of a third-dimensional consciousness. Resistance can make something relatively unimportant into a powerful enemy needing to be overcome or eliminated. Unwelcome qualities and habits usually flow from cellular memory, from lifetimes when these qualities were necessary for survival. Do not struggle, but allow these things to clear through your inner work and intention to spiritually evolve. As you move more deeply into living from a consciousness of truth, you will begin to trust the process. Never forget, in the face of any discord within or without, that you have a higher self, guides, a pre-birth plan, and that you are here to remember and experience your true self while on earth. Resistance lessens as an individual spiritually evolves, for there is the realization that there is nothing to resist, fight, or try to get rid of for all our images and thought. As with all activities of daily living, there will be times when you will be guided to take human footsteps which may appear as resistance to others. If you are guided in this way, trust your intuition. Never remain in a violent or abusive situation in the false belief that leaving would be resistance, that the situation is some deserved punishment, or you must stay in order to learn something. Removing oneself from such situations is not resistance, but is the honoring and loving of self. A fine line separates resistance from taking some necessary action. Which it is, depends upon the individual state of consciousness. Is it a consciousness that sees through appearances to the reality, followed by some intuitively guided action? Or is it simply an attempt to get rid of something seen as power? You are entitled by free will to your choices, but let them be guided from within. Try not to feel any guilt over fears you may still hold for it is very easy to buy into the world's universal fears while on earth. Things to fear are being presented to you 24-7 from governments, churches, experts, and everyone with an opinion. Those of you who are sensitive to energy often experience impersonal world fear and believe it to be your own. Be alert to this, keeping your energy field, filled with light and never claiming these energies to be personally yours. Allow the process of evolution to unfold in its own way which may be very different from what you have come to expect. Each journey is personal, for your lessons and experiences are not the same as your neighbors, nor will your experiences duplicate those you may have read about in spiritual literature. Every soul is unique, individualized within the One. Consciousness unfolds as gentle and silent steps of awareness, winding at times over rocks, and at other times through fields of wild flowers. Irregardless of the twists and turns of your personal path, or how overgrown it may become at times, remember that it always remains just for you, and has followed you through lifetimes because it was created and put in place by you and is a facet of your consciousness. Every soul is permitted by free will to rest or take side paths as often as they wish, but there is comfort in knowing that one's spiritual path is forever present and awaiting you. We are the Arcturian Group June 12, 2016. Please visit www.oneness.com.